What's up guys, welcome to On Our Shelf. So these are the latest three things to show up. Yes, these three envelopes right here, claiming that I will never lose my wallet again. Inside the first of these three envelopes is a lost and found QR card. Make sure this is in your wallet at all times and if someone finds it with this card in there, they have a way of getting in contact with you, if they choose to be honest, of course. Inside the next envelope is a leather charging pad with a micro USB cable to charge your wallet. By the way, the company, the product is called Woolit, by the way. Yes, Woolit. So it is a wallet, but it's called a Woolit. And in the last envelope, we have the Woolit itself with an instructions manual. And my first impressions after touching this is that this is a really nice wallet. Woolit. What? I'm really not sure which one to say. So aside from the technical aspect of this wallet, just by looking at it and feeling this wallet, this is a very nice wallet. It looks really good, it smells really good, and the stitching is fantastic. On the inside of the wallet, you have these four dedicated cutouts for cards and IDs. You also have this pull tab thingy. I have no idea what it's called. I've never seen one before to pull out more cards. A spot for bills and a pocket for change. And here's what the wallet looks like with the stuff that I carry around every day. So to get started, we are going to need to charge the wallet up with the included wireless charging pad. The wallet came halfway charged, but we're going to charge it to 100%. Simply place the wallet on the charging pad. You'll know it's charging because the blue indicator light will come on. When it's done charging, simply download the Woolit app. From there, you're going to need to sync your phone to your wallet. To do that, place your phone on top of your wallet. From there, follow the on-screen prompts. This all takes about 20 seconds. Give your wallet a name and you are all set and ready to go. Oh, there's my wallet. So from this menu here, if you're pretty close to your wallet but you're not exactly sure where it's at, you can simply press this button right here and your wallet will play a tune. This should help you find it, but we wish the sound was just a little bit louder. This right here is the menu that pops up when your wallet is kind of far away. It shows you where the wallet was last seen, plus your current location. Also, you're able to see how close you're getting to your wallet. Also, throughout the day, so that you won't forget your wallet, or if you've already forgotten it, you'll get updates about the status of what's going on, how far away you are from it, if you're close to it, or if you've left it. Those text alerts are followed by four tones to choose from. <laughs> now, the last feature I'm gonna go over is Quiet Zone. And basically it's just a function that allows you to pick multiple locations where you do not want to receive notifications. For example, home, let's say you have a pretty nice sized piece of property and every time you go 60 feet away from your wallet to go to your garage or something like that, you don't want it notifying you that you left your wallet, you can set it as a quiet zone. So in conclusion guys, this is a great concept that became reality. Yes, this is a wallet that you can actually go out and buy now. I'll put a link below. It uses Bluetooth for tracking and it has a 150 milliamp lithium ion battery. So I know some of you are wondering like how often do I have to charge this thing? Well, on a full charge, it'll last up to six months. So, so you should only have to charge it about twice a year. That's fantastic. And to reiterate, it's a great looking, great feeling quality wallet, which you do not want to lose. So I'm a fan. The only complaint I have about this thing is the app. There are times when my phone is literally right next to my wallet and it's saying out of range. It should be saying near, but it's saying out of range. And that can be annoying because let's say I was trying to find my wallet and it was within five feet of me, I would not be able to have my wallet give off a sound. But I found a quick fix for that that has worked 100% of the time for me. Just simply close the app and relaunch it. And I'm sure that's something they'll fix in a future update. So that has been my review of the Woolit. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you know someone that always loses their wallet, please share. And if you're not a subscriber to this channel already, please do so. Questions, comments below. Take care. I'll see you guys in our next video. And thanks for watching. I'm being told that I think it's pronounced Woolit. Not Woolit, but Woolit. Woolit. Woolit.